Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Are you audible? Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so, if you remember the last session, we had a session on MCQs. I think around ninety to hundred MCQs I discussed with you. And this session also is going to be about various types of MCQs. You will find out that some of them are very straightforward. Some of them are kind of challenging and they're kind of confusing. And of course, some of them are match the following. Okay, so these are the various types of MCQs which you will get when you enter when you go for the entrance exam. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get to the class. Okay? So the first one, illusion that he is sick, baths are shrunken, that she is pregnant, when merely distended from flatus, that she has some horrible throat diseases which will be fatal. Okay. So first one, sickness, then baths are shrunken, that she is pregnant, when merely distended with flatus. Okay. So it's like a feigning pregnancy, that she has some horrible throat disease which will be fatal. So the options are Veratrum album, Savadilla, Silesia, and Valeriana. So when we look at this, the one choice which we'll obviously think of is Valeriana because of the hysterical symptoms. Okay. But the answer is Savadilla. Okay. So Savadilla is the answer. And uh, just for your information, majority, I think 95 to 96% of the questions are taken from keynotes. Okay. And I encourage you all to refer to the keynotes, the latest edition in the back side, where there are a lot of, you know, these PQRS red line symptoms given along with the various remedies. Okay. So let's go to the second one. Cannot get sleep or remain asleep unless the legs are crossed. Pretty straightforward question, to be honest. If you find out, I mean, if you read this question, you can immediately tell the answer. Anyways, let's go to the options. The options are Rostox, Stramonium, Rhododendron, and Baptisia. This is spelling mistake in Rhododendron. Okay. So I think everybody will be able to answer it. I'll just give a second for people to answer. It's quite a straightforward question. Okay. Yeah. The answer is Rhododendron. Okay. So that is one of the main keynote symptom of Rhododendron. Next one, persons who are very particular, careful, but inclined to become angry or easily excited and they are tenacious. Okay. So what are the points you have to remember here? Particular, careful, inclined to become angry or easily excited. Okay. And tenacious. So all of them show more of a, what do you say? Anger temperament remedy. Okay. So therefore you can rule it down to two options that is chamomilla and nuxomica. So the answer is nuxomica. I think some of you are choosing chamomilla, but the answer is nuxomica because very particular and careful. Okay. Remember that nuxomica are very meticulous and fastidious personalities. Okay. So the answer is nuxomica. Okay. Next adapted to torpid phlegmatic persons, the hydrogenoid constitution of Grauvogel. Okay. Grauvogel's hydrogenoid constitution, phlegmatic and torpid. Okay. So let's see what are the options. Antim tart, magmure, barita carb, none of the above. So it, again, this is quite straightforward. You know that magmure and barita carb are not more of a hydrogenoid constitution. Okay. Barita goes towards a, like a scrofulous constitution. Okay. Antim tart on the other hand is one of the remedies, which is hydrogenoid. Okay. So that's where the answer is antim tart. Okay. Let's go to the next. So particularly sensitive to, co to cold air chills so easily, lack of vital heat, especially in chronic diseases. So a chilly remedy, okay. Chills so easily. A remedy which has lack of vital heat, especially in chronic diseases. So when we look at this, we should think about ledum, we should think of silesia, we should think of sepia, etc., sorinum, etc., etc. Okay. 
Anyways, let's go ahead with the options. We have Silesia, we have Sorinum, we have Sepia, and we have Kalika. Okay. So the answer here, everybody would think it is Silesia, but the lack of vital heat and chill so easily, if you look at keynotes, the answer is Sepia. Okay. Sepia is the answer. Keep in mind, all of them are chili remedies, but this particular keynote is found in Sepia. Okay. Next. Child is fretful, peevish, cannot bear to be touched or looked at. Sulky, does not wish to be speak, sorry, does not wish to speak or to be spoken to. So fretfulness, peevishness, cannot bear to be touched or looked at. This is the keynote. Okay. Sulky and does not wish to be spoken or uh, wish to speak or spoken to. So the options are antiprud and antimptat, silesia, iodine, all of the above. Okay. So the answer here surprisingly is all of the above. So silesia also has the, so the shyness and you know that antimprud and antim, antim family basically are like that. Okay. And iodine of course is a very, uh, what do you say, a nervous temperament and a very anger temperament remedy. Okay. So next, so I have uh, arranged a match the following based on fears. So first one is of sharp pointed things, pins, needles, etc. Then the second one is being poisoned, being eaten and being sold. Then the fear of darkness and the fear he will fail in business. So let's discuss this. Okay. Of sharp pointed things, pins, needles, etc. So you know that Silesia is one of the remedy, pin mania. But the other remedy is spigelia. Okay. If you see in keynotes, the other remedy is spigelia. Okay. So first one goes to spigelia, then being poisoned, being eaten, and being sold. Okay. This is a keynote of that remedy. Okay. Being poisoned, being eaten, and sold. So this particular thing, this particular symptom, if you go to the mind of Hyosiamus, you'll find it there. Okay. Being poisoned, being eaten, and being sold. And also, the, uh, the fear as if someone is framing a plot against him, okay? A framing a plot against her. Like that person might poison my drink or something like that, okay? Then the third one is darkness. I think darkness is straightforward. We all know it's a part of Solanaceae family. So it'll go towards Stromonium. And the last one will go to Sorina, that he will fail in business. So the answer is 1D. 2C, 3A, and 4B. Okay. 1D, 2C, 3A, and 4B. Okay. Next one. So there's a desire to escape in delirium. Again, uh, quite a keynote symptom of that one particular drug. Actually, there are two. We'll see. First one is Bryonia. Second one is Belladonna. Third one is Rustox. Fourth one is all of the above. So this is a tricky question. Okay. I want everybody to focus. Okay. Desire to escape in delirium. Okay. We know that belladonna has it. Correct. Belladonna is one of the A grade remedies for desire to escape and fear in, in delirium. Now, what is the delirium of Bryonia? He wants to get away. He wants to go home, even though he is at home. So there's a desire to escape and run to home, even though he's at home. Okay, so that is there in Bryonia, the delirium. Rustox, on the other hand, is always restless and they always want to go out of the house. Okay, if you look at Shankaran's explanation, Rustox want to go out of the house. Okay, Bryonia wants to go in house and Rustox want to get out of the house. So if you see, all of them have the desire to escape. Okay, so the answer here is all of the above. Okay, yeah. So all the remedies have the desire to escape. Next one. Cannot spell correctly. Wonders how a well-known name is spelled. So again, many remedies have. If you look at forgetfulness, particularly, many, many remedies have. So let's look at the options which are given to us. Okay. So there is syphilinum, there is baritaka, there is thyroidinum, and there is medorinum. Okay. So everybody would think maybe in terms of Nuxmoschata or Cannabis Indica, okay? 
and maybe other some other remedies, but here those two are not there. So which is the other remedy which you can think for? You cannot uh, what do you say? Wonders how a well-known name is spelled. So if you go to keynotes again, if you go to mind, yeah, I think some of you are giving the correct answers. The answer is Medorinum. Okay, Medorinum is the correct answer. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Intolerable melancholy. So that's the keynote here and apprehension. So there is sadness and apprehension is wholly occupied with sad thoughts. So you should automatically go towards the remedies which are melancholic, the, the remedies which are sad, all the time sad, okay? So let's look at the options. Naxomica, Ignatia, Natrum Carb, and Acid Foss. So here we know that Nux doesn't go towards melancholy. Nux goes towards irritability, okay? Ignatia can go towards melancholy, but wholly occupied in sad thoughts is not there as a part of the keynote of Ignatia. Okay. Natrumka, on the other hand, is one of the remedies which has this particular keynote. Okay. Melancholy, apprehension, occupied with sad thoughts. Now, with the same keynote, you add suicidal thoughts. Okay. You get natrum self. Okay. So the answer here is natrum ka. Okay. Natrum ka is the correct answer. I think some of you might think of acid force, but acid force has gone to such an extent that they're extremely tired mentally and physically. Maybe you can compare them to a sepia. They're exhausted, mentally exhausted. Okay. Before that natrum comes. Okay. Next one. For the bad effects of acute exanthema, imper imperfectly developed or suppressed measles, scarlatina and urticaria. So all about skin. Exanthema, suppressed measles, scarlatina, and urticaria. Let's look at the options. Epis is one, camphor is the other one, morbillinum, and scarlatina. So, if I were to answer this question, I would get caught up between two answers first one and the last one. Okay. Epis and scarlatina. Morbillinum doesn't have the symptom, camphor definitely doesn't have. Camphor effect of camphor is not in this particular way. So the answer here is, yeah, I think some of you are answering. The answer is Epismel. Okay, Epismel is the correct answer. Keep in mind that sometimes Belladonna also might come. It might confuse you, okay? Just for information. Next, we'll go to another match the following. This is about illusions, okay? So the first one is head feels scattered about, okay? Second one is that he has some horrible throat disease that would be fatal. He imagines he sees ghosts, hideous faces, and various insects. That she is pregnant when merely distended with flatus. So obviously go to the ones which you know first. Head feels scattered about. So if you go to the delirium or if you go to the fever of this particular remedy, this particular it has that particular thing that everything in the body feels scattered about, especially the legs and the head. So head feels scattered about goes to baptisia. Okay then that he has some horrible throat disease that would be fatal. So the sphere of action is towards the throat. So that will go towards the last one, Sabadella. Okay. Then imagines he sees ghosts, hideous faces and various insects. So this is a part of Solanaceae family. So that goes towards Belladonna. And the last one that she is pregnant when merely distended with the flatus, it goes towards I know the remedy Thuja, but Sabadilla is something new. So Sabadilla and Thuja. So the answer is 1C, 2D, 3A, and 4B. Okay. Yeah. I think many of them are answering correctly. So 1C, 2D, 3A, and 4B. Okay. Next. So mania with desire to cut and tear everything, especially the clothes. So more of a Irritant, irritable mania, okay? More of a violent mania. So what do we have? We have tarantula, we have varietal malvum, we have both of the above, and we have none of the above. So you know that tarantula has this, they're very irritable, they're very restless, they're very impulsive, okay, tarantula. Varietal malvum also has those three manias that, you know, violent mania, loquacious mania, and the religious mania. So obviously the answer is 
both of the above. Okay. Both of the above is the answer. Yeah. Next. Apathetic, indifferent, low spirited, weak memory from sexual abuse. So we have apathy, which can, covers indifference. Okay, we have low spiritedness and weak memory from sexual abuse. So this remedy should cover sexual abuse. So what are the options? Aromet, Staphysagria, Naxomica. Staphysagria, Naxomica, Acid Foss. Aromet, Acid Foss, and Staphysagria. And all of the above. So let's break it down. Aromet has this, definitely. Sexual abuse is there, low spiritedness is there, weak memory is there. Okay. Staphy, you know, it is one of the main remedies for sexual abuse. Okay. Naxomica is also one of the remedies for sexual abuse, but the effect of Naxomica is not like this. Okay. Apathy and indifferent and low spirited will not be there in Naxomica. It goes towards more of irritability and more of, you know, turmoil in Nux. So acid force also has this sexual abuse, apathy, indifference, and low spirited. Okay. So the answer here will be Aromet, acid force, and Staphysagria. Okay. Aromet, acid force, and Staphysagria. I think many of them might think of Nux in this case, but keep in mind the apathy and indifference will not come into play in Nux Omica. Okay. So the answer is C, Aurum, Acid Foss, and Staphy. Next. So depression of spirits, imagine he is going to die or be very ill. Depression of spirits, imagine he's going to die. So this is the keynote or be very ill. So what are the options? Arsenic, Aconite, Natrum Sulf, none of the above. So very tricky question again. So let's go from Arsal. Arsal, yes, they have the depression of spirits. They have imagined, he imagines that he is going to die or be very ill. Aconite also has this particular thing, but they are more like they point towards the clock and show you when they'll die. Natrum self, on the other hand, imagines he is going to die. No, he actually wants to die or he goes into thoughts of dying. That is suicidal tendencies. Okay. So natrum self doesn't cover, aconite doesn't cover, but arsenic will cover. So the option here is arsal. Okay. So I think everybody is thinking of natrum self, but you have to understand the differentiating feature here. Imagines he is going to die. Is not it does not come in natrum self. He wants to how do he gets thoughts that he will commit suicide? Understood? That is the option of natrum self. So the answer here is. Ourself. Okay, these are very subtle differences between the remedies. So next is six. Uh, yeah. Weakness of memory uses wrong words, doesn't recognize well-known streets. Okay. So weakness of memory, wrong words, well-known streets. So if you look back to a couple of questions back, I told you about the other remedies. We should think of Medorinum, we should think of Naxmos Chatter, we should think of cannabis indica. You think of anacardium. Okay, these are the main remedies which has this forgetfulness. So, what are the options here? Okay. Cannabis indica, Naxmos chata, Medorinum, anacardium. In fact, all of the remedies are here. But this particular symptom, if you go to keynotes, it is found in. I think uh, some of you are guessing it. It is found in Naxmos chata. Okay, not cannabis indica. It is found in Naxmos chata. So next, another match the following. So this is about palpitations. Okay. So palpitations, which are worse than the least exertion, palpitations at approach of menses, palpitation before or during menses, then palpitations turning to the right. I think uh, majority of you might not know this, or you might know, I don't know. So anyways, the first one, palpitations on the least exertion goes towards Sponge, I mean, sorry, iodum. Okay, iodum is the palpitation on least exertion. Then the palpitation at approach of menses goes towards cactus. Palpitations before or during menses goes towards spongia. And palpitations turning to the right, which is characteristic, is found in tobacco. So the answer is 1B, 2D, 3A, and 4C. So it's 1B, 2D, 3A, and 4C. Okay.
So go to the next one. Dissatisfied and angry about himself or his complaints, especially when constipated. So that is the keynote here. Angry and dissatisfied, especially when constipated. Okay. So what do we get? We have aloes, we have nux vomica, we have antim crude, and we have none of the above. This is again quite a challenge because this particular keynote, if you look at this, uh, in, uh, if you look at keynotes, you'll find it in this remedy. Okay. We always think of antim crude. We always think of nux vomica, but antim crude and nux are more towards diarrhea. Okay. Aloes also is diarrhea, but if you look at keynotes, they are angry when they are constipated. Okay. Opposite of calcarea, they're happy when they're constipated. So the answer here is aloes. Okay. Aloes is the name. Yeah, I think everybody is answering. Great. So next, great restlessness, extreme and protracted suffering from loss of sleep. So we have restlessness, protracted suffering, and extreme, extreme and protracted suffering from loss of sleep. So loss of sleep is the keynote here. Okay. So what are the options? Cocculus and lac defloratum, lac defloratum, nitric acid, cocculus and nitric acid, all of the above. So we know that. Loss of sleep covers two remedies here. I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. That cocculus and lactifloritum. Loss of sleep covers here. Nitric acid also, if you go and see, it has the same symptom. Nitric acid also covers. So the answer here is all of the above. Cocculus, lactifloritum, and nitric acid. Okay, that is the answer. So next one. Time passes too slowly. Now we have to think about the remedies which time passes fast and time passes slow. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So time passes too slowly. Let's look at the options: cannabis indica, argentum nitricum, and theridion. Cannabis indica, nux moschata, and theridion. Cannabis indica, argentum nitricum, nux moschata, argentum nitricum, nux moschata, and theridion. So this, if you Remember, one of these remedies has the symptom time passes too quickly, which joins medorinum as well. Okay. So, cannabis indica, you know, time passes slowly. Correct. Argentum nitricum, also, you know, their sensorium is very heightened. So, the time passes very slowly. So, the answer should uh, contain argentum nitricum and cannabis indica. Now, what are the other ones remaining? Nux moschata and theridion. So, if you go to keynote, we'll find out that theridion, the time passes very quickly. Okay, so obviously the answer will be cannabis indica, argentum nitricum, and nux moschata, which is option C. Okay, next one. Music intolerable goes through the bone and marrow, produces nervousness. So we should think about aconite, we should think of natrium series, we should think about tuja, we should think about graphites, we should think about uh, the same family of tuja, which is coniferae. Which, will, which is uh, Sabina. Okay. So think about Sabina, graphites, aconite, natrium, tuja. So one of these remedies has to be there. Okay. So the options are natrium self, Sabina, aconite, and graphites. Yeah, I think many of you are answering. The answer is Sabina. Okay. A very good psychotic remedy belongs to the same family as uh, tuja. So very, very good for warts as well. Not only bleeding, but for warts. Next, pain in the cossacks, sac sacrum, and back of the hips running down, running around and down the limbs. Sorry, pain in the cossacks, sacrum, and back of the hips running around and down the limbs. So let's look at the options Arnica, Medorinum, Calmia, and all of the above. So Arnica doesn't have this symptom. Calmia has more of a descending rheumatism. Medorinum, on the other hand, has this particular symptom if you look at keynotes. So the answer is medorinum. Okay. Next one. So the back, there is pain between the shoulders on, okay, that is O-N, on swallowing, pain and stiffness in the small of the back, worse by lying down, worse while sitting, better by motion or lying on something hard. So that is the keynote here. Okay motion or lying on something hard. So what are the options we have? Rustox, Phosphorus, Ammonium Muir, and Allium Sipa. 
So if you look at that, whether by motion or lying on something hard and worse by sitting, we have the main remedy, which is always better by motion, which is option A, Rustox. So Rustox is the answer. Yeah. So next one, sensitivity of the spine to touch, which is worse in the morning. So spine is very sensitive. So you should obviously go back and think of remedies like picric acid, oxalic acid, medorinum, etc., etc. Okay, we look at the options anyways. Oh, yeah, and uh, so let's look at the options: agaricus, phosphorus, tarantula, and none of the above. So yeah, as I was mentioning to you, tarantula is also one of the main remedies for spine sensitiveness. Theridion also is a very good remedy for spine sensitiveness. But if you look at keynotes. Worse in the morning, you have agaricus. Okay, so agaricus is the correct answer. Yeah. I think many of you are answering. Great. So, backache must sit up to turn over in bed. Okay, lumbago. Okay, that's a lumbago. That's a spelling mistake. Lumbago from sexual weakness and from masturbation. So, we have back pain, sexual weakness, masturbation. Okay. So what are the options we have? Agaricus again comes, Bufo comes, Staphysagria comes, and Naxomica comes. If you look at all of these remedies, they have ailments from debauchery and onanism. Okay, all of these remedies have. But what is the effect? Okay, weakness of the back must sit up or turn over in bed. This is found only in Staphysagria. Okay, Staphysagria is the main remedy. Bufo, on the other hand, will show epilepsy okay i think everybody will think of naxomica but that sit up and or to turn over the bed comes in staphysagria okay next is another match the following so this is regarding the symptoms of the heart angina pectoris contacting contracting pain heat Faintness, suffocation, anxiety, and sweat. This looks like a typical picture of angina. Okay. Then second one is anxiety about the heart as if something evil was impending. Okay. Then feels as if clasped or and unclasped by an iron hand. This I don't need to mention. Everybody will know the answer. Then heart diseases that have developed from rheumatism or alternate with it. This again, everybody should know the answers. So C and D is quite easy. Okay. The option C and option D. So let's look at the first two. Angina pectoris, contracting pain, heat, faintness, suffocation, anxiety, and sweat. Suffocation is important here. Anxiety and sweat is important here. So that is found in spongia. So suffocation is one of the main symptoms of spongia. So obviously the second one will go towards menianthus. Okay, menianthus, if you see in boric, you'll find this. Third one, you know, iron hand is always cactus, always and has been cactus. Fourth one is calmia. Okay, alternating. So the options are 1B, 2A, 3C, and 4D. 1B, 2A, 3, sorry, 3D and 4C. My mistake, 3D and 4C. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Every motion, every turn of body causes pain in spine. Single vertebrae sensitive to touch. Okay. So we have plumbum. Then we have agaricus, then we have naxomica, and then we have tarantula. Okay, plumbum, agaricus, naxomica, and tarantula. Again, sensitivity of the spine is important, especially the single vertebrae. So if you go back to keynotes, you'll find this only in agaricus. Okay, so agaricus is the correct answer. Okay. Next. Backache before and during menses. Okay, backache before and during menses is a very vague question. Let's look at the answers. Black caninum, creosotum, kali carb, and silesia. So maybe a simpler way to put this is when you don't know the answer in cases of this, we have to look at the medicine which suits backache the best here. And if you go through all these options, Kali Carb is the remedy which suits backache the best. You know the trio of backache, sweating, and weakness. This is me generalizing the answer for you. You should know the keynote. 
But if you don't know the answer, you can think of the remedy best suited for backache, which is kali carb. Okay, so kali carb is the right answer. Next. Next is while riding in a carriage. Backache while riding in a carriage. So what are the options? We have cactus, we have petroleum, we have thalidion, and we have Nuxmos chata. So I know everybody will think of petrol. Petrol is one of the main remedies for riding in a carriage. But for the back pain when riding in a carriage, the answer is actually Nuxmos chata. Okay. So answer is Nuxmos chata. Next. So sensation of heaviness and lameness in the back. Okay, sensation of heaviness and lameness in the back. Let's look at the options. Aesculus, Nux Moschata, Nux Vomica, Anacardia. So here, if you go towards, if you go to Boric and Keynotes, this particular remedy has this lameness and heaviness in the back as if a plug. And this particular remedy, I'm going to give you the clue now, maybe the answer. This particular remedy is given for usually hemorrhoids, okay, hemorrhoids and fissures, etc. So the answer here is Aesculus. Okay? Yeah, I think everybody is answering it. Answer is Aesculus Hippocastina. Okay. Please don't forget the common names. It's very, very important. Just a reminder for you. I think Aesculus is called horse chestnut, if I'm not mistaken. Please don't forget the common name. Next. Headache in anemic patients with flickering before the eyes or dim vision on rising in the morning. So anemia, flickering before the eyes or dim vision on rising in the morning. Let's look at the options. Calcarea fos, tuberculinum, cyclamen, and all of the other. So obviously the first thing you'll think about is maybe calcarea fos and tuberculinum because that anemic patients, school going children and all that. But the effect flickering before the eyes or dim vision. So that comes in cyclamen. Okay, so the answer here is cyclamen. Sorry, yeah, so the answer is cyclamen. Next, apoplectic. Apoplexy is nothing but your stroke. Apoplectic convulsions in inebriates, hemorrhagic or broken down constitutions. Okay, so we have apoplexy, inebriates, hemorrhage and broken down constitution. So what are the options we have? Lachesis, Crotalis, Naja, Minianthus. So I think we can rule out Minianthus because it's not a hemorrhagic remedy. Next, we have Naja, Crotalis and Lachesis. Naja goes towards more the heart. Okay, goes towards the heart. Okay, so we're down to Lachesis and Crotalis. So if you look at this, apoplexy more goes towards the Lachesis. Okay. Hemorrhagic also, yeah, hemorrhagic stroke also goes to lachesis, crotalis as well. But the answer here is, I think everybody is saying it's crotalis, but it's actually lachesis. Okay, lachesis is the answer. Crotalis also has this, but the intensity is more in lachesis. Okay. Next. Delirium tremens in old emaciated persons, bloated face, stupor, eyes burning, hot, dry with loud, so there is delirium tremens, old emaciated people, bloated face, stupor, burning eyes, hot, dry with loud snoring. Okay, so we have opium, we have aconite, we have ranunculus, and we have baritaka. So I think here we can rule out aconite because aconite does not have this loud snoring. Okay, and aconite is very what immediate and very full of turmoil. The actual answer here is opium. Okay. Yeah. Opium is the right answer. A couple of you are saying Baptisia and Nuxmos Chata, but it's not given in the options. So here, opium is the right answer. Okay. Next. Inability to think or to perform mental labor causes headache. Feels stupefied if he exerts, if he tries to exert himself. Comprehension slow and difficult. So not able to perform mental head labor, it causes headache. Okay. And the comprehension is slow. We have picric acid, we have sabadilla, we have natrum carb, and we have argentum nitrate. So here, if you think actually natrum carb has all these symptoms, inability to think or to perform mental labor, it causes headache. 
Remember, natural carb is one of the main remedies for headache. Okay, especially from profuse physical labor, mental labor, exposure to sun, sun heat, sunstroke, a chronic sunstroke remedy. Okay, so natural carb is the right answer. Epilepsy comes on during sleep from loss of vital fluids, onanism, and jealousy. So we have epilepsy which comes during sleep, loss of vital fluids, onanism, and jealousy. Okay. Onanism is nothing but excess masturbation. Okay. So what are the options we have? Remember the last point, which is jealousy. So we have buforana, we have cupramet, we have lachesis, and we have none of the above. So if you look at buforana, the poison toad. Epilepsy comes on during the sleep. As, when he is sleeping, the epilepsy comes, especially the aura seems to begin in the genital sphere. Okay. Bufo also has the loss of life, uh, vital fluids. Bufo has the onanism. Bufo masturbates a lot. Okay. Bufo masturbates a lot, especially they always desire for solitude when they masturbate because they want to masturbate. But jealousy is present here. So jealousy goes towards Lachesis, okay. Lachesis is the correct answer. Next. Headache of school going girls. So other remedies are natrimure and sorinum. Okay, headache of school going girls. So this remedy, I mean, these two remedies are not in the options. So we have calcarea fos, we have tuberculinum, we have both and we have none. Okay, so the answer is here. Calcarea force, okay? Calcarea force is the answer. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake, sorry. Tuberculinum also comes. So the answer is tuberculinum and calcarea force, which is both. Sorry, my mistake, there's a mistake here. The answer is both of the options, tuberculinum and calcarea force, okay? Next. Head feels heavy and is drawn backwards. Head feels heavy and is drawn backwards. So the options are medoninum, petrol, Crocus sativa and coculus. Okay. So here, if you go to keynotes, you'll find this head feels heavy and is drawn backwards. It is found in medorine. Okay. The answer here is medorine. Next. So sensation as if drops of water were falling on or from single parts on the head from the anus, stomach, and heart. So I think this drops of water falling is the main keynote and this should give away the remedy without even going to the MCQs, okay? So we have cannabis indica, we have cannabis sativa, we have tuja, and we have silica. So it's not cannabis indica, it's cannabis sativa, okay? Cannabis sativa has a sensation of drops falling on every part of the body. Next. So let's go to another match the following. Okay. So this is regarding the chest. So there's great weakness of the chest, so weak, he's unable to talk. I think this everybody will get to know even without the options. The answer is stanamment. Because the weakness in the chest, unable to talk, goes towards stanamment. Okay. So that is confirmed. One A is one D is confirmed. Okay. Next. Heaviness of the chest as if a weight were lying on it. Then we have itching down, low down in the lungs behind the sternum causing a cough. Then the last one, we have sensation of congestion, pressure of weight in the chest, better by rapid walking. Okay. Yeah. So it is 1D and the next easiest would be, according to me, the next easiest would be the fourth one, sensation of congestion, better by rapid walking. That goes towards lobelia inflator. Okay. Lobelia has that particular symptom. Okay, so we're stuck with two and three. Heaviness of the chest as if a weight were lying on it. If you see, it goes towards phosphorus and behind the sternum itching causing cough goes towards iodine. Okay, so the answer is 1D, 2C, 3B and 4A. 1D, 2C, 3B and 4A. Terrible burning and of the legs and arms during an electrical storm. So I think that is the keynote here during an electrical storm. Okay. Let's look at the options. 
We have rustox, we have phosphorus, we have metoninum, and we have asteria rubens. So electrical storm, what are the remedies which can come? It comes towards phosphorus and metoninum. Okay. So out of these two, metoninum is the right answer over here. Okay, metoninum. We can also think of remedies like rhododendron and all that, but here it's not in the options. So think about metoninum. Next. Cannot cover too warmly, but warmth does not relieve. So that means a very highly chilly, okay? Cannot cover too warmly, okay? So what are the options? We have phosphorus, we have calcareous carb, we have causticum, and we have all of the above. So this particular remedy has betterment in damp weather, okay? But is very badly aggravated in chilly weather, especially to this symptom. Cannot cover too warmly, but warm does not relieve. Okay, so the answer here is causticum. Okay, causticum is the right answer. Yeah. So some of the remedies will have the same symptom, but the it is it might not be mentioned in the options. It's great that you're sharing the uh, the uh, the remedy which is not mentioned, but try to stick to the options which are there. So causticum is the right answer. Next, gastric and nervous headaches of nervous people. So other other remedies which have this are argentum metricum, naxonica, and prionia. So gastric nervous headaches. Okay, we have aloes, we have sulfur, we have both of the above, and we have anacardia. So if you go towards this headache, gastric origin, especially an empty stomach, better by eating, especially in nervous people. It goes towards anacardia. So the answer is anacardia. Okay. Yeah. Next one. So painful sensitiveness of sexual organs. Palva so sensitive that she can barely wear a napkin. Painful sensitiveness of sexual organs. Palva is very sensitive. Barely wear a napkin. So what are the options? Murex, Staphy, Caladium, and Tuja. So Murex has, Staphy also has. Okay. Caladium does not have this. Caladium has onanism or they get pleasure. Okay. Because of that excessive itching. So cannot bear a uh, napkin, can barely wear a napkin, comes in Murex and Staphy cycle. Okay. So yeah, even platina is also there, but platina is not in the options here. So it is either murex or staphy. Actually, it's both, but here in the book it was given staphy, but the answer is both. Okay, both of them have murex and staphy sagria. Both these options have, I mean, both these medicines have this particular symptom. Okay. Next, profound prostration, collapse, surface pale and bathed in. Cold water, profound prostration, collapse, surface pale, and bathed in cold, cold sweat, not water, sorry, cold sweat. So we have camphor, we have veratrum album, we have carbolic acid, we have all of the above. So if you look at this collapse situation, it is there in both these remedies, camphor and veratrum. Maybe the differentiating point is camphor is more of a dry discharge, veratrum is more of a profuse discharge. Both are cold. So these two will cover. Carbolic acid also has this a cancer remedy. Carbolic acid also has these prostration collapse and bathed in cold sweat. So the answer here is all of the above. All the medicines have these particular symptoms. I think there was some confusion regarding the question about apoplectic convulsions. I think I've mentioned lachesis. It is found in crotalis as well. My mistake, sorry, correct that. Okay. Next. Concussion of the brain from fall or blow where the skin is cold and bathed in cold sweat. So we have concussion of brain, okay? Hit on the brain, okay? But look at the effect here. Skin is cold and bathed in cold sweat. That is important in choosing your remedy. So we have Arnica, I'm sorry, we have Arnica, which is a concussion remedy. We have Natrum Sulf, again, which is a concussion remedy. We have Camphor and we have Sulfuric Acid. So everybody would maybe think of Natrum Sulf. But the effect, you have to look at the effect. Skin is cold and bathed in cold sweat, which goes towards 
acids. So the answer here is sulfuric acid. Next, child trembles, jerks, threatened with convulsions, continuous jerking or nodding of the head. So trembles, jerking, convulsions, jerking and nodding of the head. Okay. We have Nuxtomica, which is a spasmodic remedy. We have Veratrum Viridae, which is again a spasmodic remedy, more towards BP, that is blood pressure. We have Chamomilla and we have Podophile. So if you look at this, it comes in Veratrum Alpha. So veratrum, I mean, sorry, veratrum viridae. Okay, veratrum viridae is your correct answer. So veratrum viridae is also very good for heart complaints, excessive BP, stroke, threatened apoplexy. That is the keynote of veratrum viridae, threatened apoplexy. Okay. So the answer is veratrum viridae. Next. So acute cerebral or basilar meningitis with threatened effusion, okay? Nocturnal hallucinations, wakes up with a fright, screaming. When epis, heliborus, or sulfur, though well selected, fails. So, obviously, for meningitis with effusion, wakes up with a fright, the first remedy we would think of is epis. Okay. Epis, then heliborus. Okay. Heliborus is more towards uh, what do you say? Uh, digging his nose into the pillow, more of a dull sensorium. If you look at epis, epis are irritable, screaming, and all that. So what happens when these two fails, which is the remedy which can come? Zincum, lachesis, tuberculinum, and syphilinum. So this is also new information for me. Tuberculinum is the remedy. Tuberculinum acts as a miasmatic or an intercurrent in these cases. Okay, The option is tuberculinum. Next. Headache at sunrise, spikes at noon, and starts descending to uh, sorry, starts declining towards the evening. Okay, starts declining towards the evening. So it starts in the morning, spikes at noon, and comes down in the evening. Okay, so again, this is given in keynotes. If you look at this particular remedy, it has that. Okay, a left-sided remedy predominantly. So we have natrumure, we have spigelia, we have glonoin, and we have kalium. So the left-sided remedy, very good for trigeminal neuralgia, very good for headaches, very good for this sunrise headaches. It is spigelia. Okay, the answer is spigelia. Next, diseases with fatty and defective nutrition with reflex affections of nervous centers. So fatty and defective nutrition, reflex affections of nervous centers. We have the options. Abrotanum, Silesia, lac defloratum, and calcarea carb. Okay, defective nutrition comes towards abrotanum, Silesia, and lac defloratum. But reflex action of the nervous centers, so more towards a nervous remedy. So out of these, the nervous remedy is lac defloratum. Okay, so the answer here is lac defloratum. Next, another match the following. Okay, so this is about urticaria. Articaria worse by warmth, articaria better by warmth, articaria worse by bathing, articaria better in open air. So worse by warmth, better by warmth, better by bathing, open air. So if you look at worse by warmth, we have, I think it's pretty obvious here, it is Dalkamara. Okay. Uh, if you look at this worse by warmth and uh, worse in the damp cold weather, we have Dalkamara. Okay. Then better by warmth, we have in Rumex. So Rumex is a very chilly remedy. Okay, especially when it comes to cough, it is very, very chilly. Okay, highly chilly remedy. Aggravates by bathing, we have in Bovista. And better by open air, obviously, you know, Pulsatile and Epis has those remedies. I mean, that's symptoms. So better by open air goes towards Pulsatile and Epis. So the answer is 1A. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry. 1A, 2D, 3B. And 4D, 1A, 2D, 3B, and 4C. Okay. Yeah. Next. So I think some of you are thinking that bet, better by warmth, I mean, sorry, worse by warmth is Dalkamara. 
I mean, better by warmth is Dalkamana. But if you look at Boric and all those things, all the complaints come on during the summer. Okay, summer and damp, dampness and summer, humid climates, maybe like seashores and all that. Dalkamara is the answer for that. Okay. Next. So what's on the palms of the hands? Okay, not on the back of the hands, but the palms of the hands. So what are the options we have for this? Natrium ure, natrium carb, tuja. Natrium carb, tuja, anacardium. Natrium carb, natrium ure, anacardium. Natrium ure, tuja, anacardium. So natrium ure and natrium carb has on the palms of the hands, okay? Anacardium also has on the palms of the hands. The odd one out here is Tuja. Tuja has on the, uh, what do you say? The backside of the hands, not the palms, the backside of the hands, okay? On the fingers, okay? So the answer here would be natrium carb, natrium mure, and anacardium. Okay? Yeah, I think some of you are answering. The answer is C, anacardium. Eczema upon the ears between fingers and toes and on various parts of the body with watery, transparent discharge. Straightforward between the fingers, upon the ears, especially the lower side of the ears, watery discharge. We have graphites, ars, mesarium, and medorhinum. I think this requires no explanation. Graphites is the answer in this case. Okay. Black or blue blisters, carbuncles with horrible burning pains. Okay. So think of the remedies, blister remedies, carbuncles remedies, and horrible painful remedies. Okay. So what is the answer here? Anthracinum and sikale core is one. Anthracinum and arsenic is one. Arsenic and sikale core is one. All of the above. Okay. So it would seem that all of these remedies would come. Okay. But if you look at CKL core, it's more towards a greenish, okay? Greenish ledum and CKL core, they're more towards greenish skin discoloration, greenish carbuncles and all. Anthracinum has black, arsenic also has black, okay? So the answer here is the second option, anthracinum and arsenic, okay? Anthracinum and arsenic. Remember, CKL core doesn't have it because it is more towards a greenish discharge. Next. So insect bites, which burns and itches intolerably. We have ledampal, we have epis, we have sulfur, and we have caladium. So obviously insect bite, we think of ledum and epis, okay? But caladium, if you see, they're very good for mosquito bites, which burns and itches very intolerably. So the answer here is caladium, okay? The answer is caladium. Next, pains which run from below upwards. So below upwards, the pain travels, okay? We have calmia, we have mesarium, we have pulsatilla, and we have ledampal. So calmia, you know, it is a descending rheumatism. Mesarium is a shifting pain. Pulsatilla is again a shifting pain. Ledampal, on the other hand, is an ascending pain, okay? Below upwards. So the answer is ledampal. I'm going to speed up a little bit, okay? We're halfway through. Pain in places where the bones are least covered. Okay, what are the, this is not found in key notes. So what are the options we have? Rust veninata, rust tox, bryonia, and none of the above. So bones are least covered. This is the important symptom here. Bones are least covered. So itching, eczema, and pain, especially in the parts where the bones are least covered, for example, on the shin, that is the tibia, we have rust veninata as the remedy. So the answer here is rust veninata. Okay. It is nothing but a more uh, intensified, uh, what do you say, intensified action of rust ox. Rust veninata is more stronger than rust ox. Okay. Flushes of heat from least motion followed by perspiration of the whole body. Okay. Flushes of heat, least motion, perspiration of whole body. We have graphites. We have lachesis, we have sepia, we have none of the above. So we would think of lachesis definitely, and we would think of sepia. Both are inimical by the way, but the answer here is sepia, okay? The answer is sepia. 
Flushing starts from the face, stomach, various parts of the body, followed by sweating, often hot and profuse. Parts below are ice cold. So that is the keynote. Parts below are ice cold. So what are the options we have? Amyl nitrosum, clonoin, belladonna, lachesis. Actually, if you look at it, all three of them have. Amyl nitrosum, glonine, and belladonna, all of them have this particular thing. But I think that last point, which is there, parts below are ice cold, amyl nitrosum covers. Belladonna has internal coldness, but external heat. Okay, Parts are hot to touch, but internally they are cold. So amyl nitrosum is the right answer. Maybe in a simpler way, you can imagine all the blood in amyl nitrosum rushes to the heart. So the extremities are cold. So that's why amyl nitrosum is the right answer. Next, sorry. Active passive hemorrhage, bright red from all the orifices of the, of the body. So we have phosphorus, we have epicac, we have crotalis, and we have all of the other. So the keynote here is all the orifices of the body. Okay, we should we will definitely think of phosphorus here, but actually the answer is crotalis. Okay, crotalis is the answer. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Sorry. It is epicac. I'm sorry, very, very sorry. The bright red hemorrhage, I forgot to add that. Bright red hemorrhage. So epicac is bright red. Crotalis is dark red. Crotalis being a snake cremity is degenerated blood. So sorry, my mistake. The answer is epicac. Okay. Yeah, so it is that much confusing, the MCQs. Remedy for bleeding from any part, which is black, viscid, clotted, forming into long black strings hanging down from the bleeding places. Again, very uh, easy question. Uh, it is a remedy made of saffron. I just gave you a clue. Okay. So the options are crocus sativa, sicale core, lachesis, and calibite. So the remedy made from saffron here is crocus sativa. The answer is crocus sativa. Okay. So next we'll go to another hemo, uh, match the following. This is about hemoptysis. So one is bright red blood. One is in advanced stages, copious purulent expectoration. The other one is venous without effort of coughing. The other one is with operation of chest and dyspnea. Okay. So if you look at this, well, let's go to the third one. I think the third one is quite simple. The third one will definitely go towards hemimilis, correct? Hemimilis. The second one will go towards phosphorus. Correct. The first one, sorry, sorry. The first one will go towards phosphorus. My mistake. First one will go towards phosphorus. Then in advanced stages, copulus and purulent expectoration will go towards trillium pendulum. My mistake. Trillium pendulum is very good for that. Then the third one will go towards hemimelis because it is venous. And the fourth one will go towards coca. Coca is a mountaineer's remedy. So oppression of chest and dyspnea is very common in coca. So the answer is 1B, 2C, 3A, and 4D. 1B, 2C, 3A, and 4D. Okay. Next. Climactric erythism. Okay. What are the options? Lachesis, sanguinaria. Then we have sanguinaria and sulfur. We have sulfur and lachesis, and we have all of the other. So the word climactric should be, uh, what do you say, the key or should be the clue for you. All of these remedies have that climactric complaints, okay, especially climactric erythism. Lachesis is a climactric drug, sanguinaria is a climactric drug, sulfur is a climactric drug, graphite is a climactric drug, sepia is a climactric drug. So all of the above is the answer over here. So the brain feels too large, full, bursting. Blood seems to be pumped upwards, throbs at every jar and step. So first is glonine, second is belladonna, third is veratrum viridae, fourth is sulfur. So here, everybody will definitely think of belladonna, but the same symptoms are found in glonine. Especially that brain feels too large and they cannot keep it on the pillow. It hurts that much. The brain feels too large. This is predominantly found in glonine. So it is not belladonna here. The answer is glonine. Remember, glonine and belladonna are very, very similar. 
okay very very similar it is that brain feels too large which is the key so the answer is glonoid okay next pupils dilate when the child is reprimanded reprimanded meaning is refused or irritated or something like that okay and the or not given what the child desires okay that is reprimanded okay and the pupils dilate so it's more towards a nervous remedy so what are the options china chamomilla stramonium and staphylococcus so we will definitely think of chamomilla here but the dilatation of pupil is a mitriatic property which goes towards solanaceae family and that is stramonium so the answer is stramonium when walking seems to be walking on air when lying down does not seem to touch the bed so this is a kind of like a delirium a uh, sorry delusion so what are the options we have valeriana we have lac caninum we have ferrum med and we have all of the above so very tricky question all of them have this particular thing but valeriana seems to be flying in air okay does not seem to touch the bed comes in lac canin okay the answer is lac can next puerperal convulsions frequent suspension of breathing for a few moments as if dead upper part of the body most affected continued after delivery okay so convulsions suspension of breathing few moments as if dead so what are the options colophyllum piprum met simsifuga secuta so convulsions is the main important keynote here okay frequent suspension uh, suspension of breathing for a few moments for moments as if dead so this particular remedy has to have that amount and that intensity of convulsions okay and this is one of the main remedy for ophisthotomies the answer is secuta okay secuta is the correct answer injurious chronic effects from concussion of brain and spine so chronic effects from from a trauma to the brain and spine especially spasms trismus and tetanus from getting splinters into the flesh so again we have to look at the effect here we have spasms we have tetanus and we have trismus okay so what are the options arnica secuta natrum sulf and none of the above so we'll definitely think of all of these remedies okay but let's look at the effect that is spasms and tetanus so we have to go for secuta okay secuta is the correct answer next bad effects of repercussed eruptions repercussed is nothing but uh, kind of like a suppression suppression okay repercussed eruptions resulting in brain affections okay spasms convulsions and vomiting yeah i think for the previous question many of you are answering hypericum it's great that you're answering hypericum it does have that but it's not there in the options okay so stick to the options so we have secuta we have absinthinum we have cuprum met and we have none of the above so you know that cuprum met and zincum mets are a couple of the metal remedies which are very good for suppressed eruptions which results in nervous affections the answer here is cuprum met okay cuprum met is the correct answer the next epilepsy aura begins in the knees aggravates at night before sleep and before uh, like before ana which is about the new moon at regular intervals that's the menses comes at menses that is from a fall or a blow upon the head and from getting wet so let's look at the options we have natrum sulf we have rustox we have secuta and we have cuprum met so again uh, it's a very tricky question okay so the answer here would be maybe the new moon you have to consider at regular intervals especially around the menses you should consider and getting wet so we will definitely think of rustox and all those but the answer here is cuprum met okay so the answer is cuprum met next so this is a straight forward question i think everybody should answer this convulsions from reflecting or dazzling light from reflections from a mirror we have stramonium we have lysinum we have both of the above and we have none of the above so stramonium is 99% similar to lysinum okay that is one of the 
a very great similarity they have stramonium and lysinum so both of these have the features okay both reflect the dazzling light and i mean stramonium and lysinum both have the features okay so the answer is c yeah i think many people are saying it's stramonium or lysinum but please remember both of them have this particular thing okay both next spasms of children from approach of strangers okay from nursing after a fright from mother from crying eyes half open and upturned so spasms of children approach of strangers that is a fear okay nursing after fright again fright crying fear fright half open upturned eyes so these are the four things you have to consider in this particular question so what are the options we have opium chamomilla podophyllum all of the above okay so if you look at this chamomilla is more of anger okay and reprimands opium on the other hand fear and fright with dull sensorium comes to opium so the answer here is opium okay a very good remedy for acute fright leading to dull sensorium unresponsiveness okay it is exactly opposite of aconite aconite is highly responsive rawness and soreness of scalp throat respiratory tract and anus so rawness and soreness is the main keynote here what are the options we have causticum platina bryonia and arnica so i think it is quite simple it's quite straightforward the answer is causticum okay causticum is the answer next so we have another match the following so we have cough with expected of greenish mucus cough a long time before expectoration with croup which is hoarse metallic expectoration of tough mucus expectoration like that of a white of an egg okay so what are the options greenish mucus yellowish mucus we know it is more towards natrum sulf okay so the first one will go to natrum sulf second one a long time before expectoration so this is a keynote of a no sod sorinum so rhinum has this particular feature then croup hoarse metallic expectoration of tough mucus the keynote is tough mucus hoarseness and croup that goes to calibike so the other remedy which can come here is cupramate okay so this and uh, argentum metallicum as well okay so the third one will go to calibike and expectoration like white of an egg will go to stannum okay so the answer is 1b 2d 3a and 4c i repeat 1b 2d 3a and 4c so that's the answer here okay so painful all gone sensation in the epigastrium relieved by eating so all gone sensation relieved by eating you can definitely think of anacardium okay we have pulsatilla we have staphylococcus we have sepia we have tobacco but anacardium is not here so what is the other remedy which has this all gone sensation ready by eating if you look back sepia has this okay sepia has this particular symptom great sensitiveness to open air putting the hand under the bed cover brings on cough so if you look back to i think one of the match the followings i told one remedy especially in urticaria is very sensitive to coldness so that is a remedy over here you remember so what are the options we have silesia we have rumex we have solanum and we have rostox so if you see rumex even the slightest uncovering brings on a cough very very sensitive okay so rumex is the right answer here next vitego especially on turning the head to the left as if he would fall and from stimulants so turning the head to the left as if he would fall we have colosynth conium silesia rostox so i think you should be stuck between two options here colosynth and conium but the answer is colosynth stimulants come into play so colosynth is the right answer next apoplexy loc which is loss of consciousness involuntary evacuation from bowels and bladder in acute attack controls hemorrhage and aids absorption 
should be repeated and allowed to act for days or weeks unless symptoms call for another remedy okay so controlling hemorrhage stroke loss of consciousness absorbs the hemorrhage that is the important symptom here so you know controlling hemorrhage absorbing the blood absorbing the extra fluid especially after trauma we have remedies like lachesis arnica amyl nitrosum and glonoin so it is quite straightforward here the injury remedy which helps in controlling hemorrhage and absorbing hemorrhage which is arnica okay the option is arnica you don't even need the options the answer is arnica excessive and rapid emaciation general or partial paralysis extreme with anemia and great weakness what are the options we have abrotanum plumbum met natremure tuberculinum all of them have in fact <laughs> honestly all of these remedies have but natremure goes towards the throat i mean the neck abrotanum goes towards the extremities okay so if you look at i mean tuberculinum also has very very what do you say emaciated people but the partial paralysis is something which is found in plumbum met all these features are found in plumbum met as well okay trembling of arms and legs from excitement exertion of pain okay so excitement and exertion of pain trembling okay we have bryonia we have gelsemia we have coculus and we have acid self okay so we'll definitely think of gelsemium and coculus in these conditions because the trembling but excitement goes towards coculus okay so the correct answer is coculus indicus next pains are intermittent paroxysmal and spasmodic A very vague question okay colophyllum chamomilla bryonia and staphylococcus so in such questions you just have to go according to the character of the pain which is paroxysmal spasmodic so that is important so maybe like magnesium or something might come but chamomilla bryonia and staphy doesn't have this chamomilla has pain with numbness bryonia is stitching type of pain okay so it's either colophyllum or sorry colophyllum or staphylococcus so the answer here is uh pregnancy remedy or the one which aids pregnancy which is i mean sorry parturition which is qualified okay next great weakness and prostration with nervous debility and trembling of the whole body weakness and weariness from loss of vital fluids so we have weakness prostration nervous debility trembling loss of vital fluids so what are the options we have ferrum met may come phosphorus definitely may come acesis may be not and cannabis sativa definitely not so it's either phosphorus or ferrum met so if you see phosphorus has this particular symptom maybe if you add china you may get confused because china also has the same symptoms okay next so another match the following so this is regarding cough so cough after a fall from height cough after being overheated cough after suppressed eczema cough alternates with sciatica okay so what are the options we have so after a fall from height i think it it's quite clear it goes towards sorry my mistake goes towards arnica okay then after being overheated along with antim crude which is a very good remedy yeah nux moschata okay so nux moschata and antim crude after being overheated then after suppressed eczema it goes again to staphylococcus okay after suppressed eczema goes towards staphylococcus and alternates with sciatica goes to sorbitol so the options are 1b 2a 3c and 4d 1b 2a 3c and 4d okay next great weakness and debility from loss of animal fluids again remaining after acute diseases very important independent of or without any organic lesions or apparent bathing so what are the options we have china caliphos ambragrisia sorinum 
definitely we'll think of china in such cases but look at the second part of the question without any organic lesions then acute diseases again both china and sorinum has organic lesions without sorinum has or apparent bathing aversion to bathing sorinum so the answer is sorinum okay next child cries out during sleep the whole body jerks during sleep wakes frightened starts to roll head from side to side face alternately pale and red so we have epis which definitely put gum epis is very close to this pulsatilla ignatia zinc okay so here if you see zinc surprisingly has all these particular symptoms okay zinc has these particular symptoms next headache numb heavy pain in brain or on the vertex from anger or chagrin hysterical from uterine diseases pains gradually increase and decreases okay headache which is numb so what are the points which you take here numbness pain in the vertex anger chagrin hysterical from uterine diseases so that is important okay so we have sepia we have pulsatilla we have platinum we have veratrum album so we definitely think of sepia and we'll definitely think of platina but the answer here is platina okay gradual increase and decrease hysteria goes towards platina okay next heat around the head as is surrounded by hot air so if you know it's a quite a simple question this belongs to the animal kingdom okay we'll see the options asteria rubens belladonna glonoin lachesis so it's either i told you it's, a, it's an animal kingdom so it's either asteria rubens or lachesis so the answer here is asteria rubens next lassitude pains on going into a room full of company very strange symptom isn't it pains on going into a room full of company so we have plumbum we have stramonium we have coca and we have lycopodium so here the answer is not plumbum definitely doesn't have that painting stramonium doesn't have the lassitude coca or lyco so out of this coca is the right answer sorry my mistake excuse me plumbum is the right answer my mistake my mistake so pain and numbness in the right ovary running down the thigh of that side so right ovary running down the thigh of that side so it could be epis it could be podophyllum it could be uh what's the other one yeah it could be either epis or podophyllum these are the two remedies which come to my mind so we have lycopodium yeah it could be lycopodium also it could be causticum it could be podophyllum anacardium so the answer here is podophyllum predominantly a right sided remedy okay next weakness progressing from a slight fatigue on motion to a complete paralysis so slight fatigue to a complete paralysis we have china we have causticum we have arnica and we have picric acid definitely we'll think of china here but complete paralysis so it goes towards a nervous remedy which is picric acid okay the answer here is picric acid the hottest acid one of the hottest remedies in amitya remedica picric acid fluoric acid yeah next so bad effects of shock from injury surface of the body cold face pale blue lips livid profound prostration so what are the options we have acid sulf arnica camphor ledum again think of the effects here okay shock or um uh, bad effects of shock from injury face pale blue lips livid profound prostration so this particular thing should make you think about camphor or even acid surf ledum also can come but the affected part is cold but here is generally cold so the answer is camphor okay the answer is camphor definitely acid force definitely comes but the lividity the blueness goes towards camphor okay so this is a quite a tricky question to be honest 
acid sulf and camphor very very similar so just keep in mind the effect of the remedy is what is important okay next pains are terrible come suddenly last for a short time and disappear suddenly so comes like a storm and goes like a storm okay what are the options belladonna acid car magfos all of the above so comes like a storm goes like a storm actually is a part of aconite but if you look at this carbolic acid magfos and belladonna all of them have the suddenness okay so that's why the option is all of the above d okay next violent cramps in feet calves thighs watery and painless stools so what are the options we have cupramet we have aloes we have podophyllum we have veratrum album so in this particular case according to the book where i took it from the answer is actually podophyllum but also keep in mind cupramet okay cupramet is also very very good maybe the only way you can differentiate podophyllum from cupramet in this particular question is the pain podophyllum has painless stools cupramet has a spasmodic okay but cupramet and podophyllum are very very similar in this particular question okay so the answer is actually podophyll okay okay now the master following i believe this is the last master following okay and it's about question so what are the options we have cannot endure question or will faint during then question prevented by extreme dryness of vagina decided aversion to question of both the sexes vulva painfully sensitive during the question so we have platina twice here so let's start with that so you cannot endure question or will faint during hypersensitiveness due to pain will go to platina okay question prevented by extreme dryness of vagina will go to natrium urine lycopodium that is quite clear it's quite a basic knowledge decided aversion to sexes uh, both the sexes will go to graphites okay graphites has this then vulva painfully sensitive during question again goes to platina so it is the first one will go to platina second one will go to natrium ur and lyco third one will go to graphite and fourth will go to again platina okay so the answer is 1a 2d 3b or and 4c okay. next shingles herpes preceded preceded sorry preceded by or followed by intercostal neuralgia the cycles may have a bluish appearance so think of a remedy which has herpes carbolic acid merk which is merksol antim crude that's a spelling mistake ranunculus so it's quite straightforward here the answer is ranunculus okay next the bed feels hard parts laid on feels sore and bruised so if you go back to the knowledge we think of three remedies here aptesia pyrogen and arnica okay but the bed feels hard that is important let's see what all comes and soreness and bruised feeling we have opm doesn't come pyrogen yes might come aptesia might come and ruta ruta doesn't come so it's either pyrogen or aptesia okay both of them have but the bed feels hard goes towards pyrogenum okay please remember bacteria also has very similar symptoms okay. sorry next paralysis with numbness of the affected parts from getting wet or lying on a damp ground after exertion parturition sexual excess ague or typhoid so what are the options we have rustox we have chamomilla we have aconite we have lachesis honestly if you look at this the last three of them will never get okay lachesis aconite and chamomilla doesn't come here okay rustox can come because getting wet lying on damp ground after exertion okay then uh, sexual excess i'm not sure about that but ague and typhoid again rustox is a very good remedy okay so the answer is rustox nervousness intensity felt about the ankles 
Okay, nervous but felt about the ankles. Let's see what are the options. Capsicum, maybe. Carboanimalis doesn't come. Pulsatilla, maybe, definitely. And Rustox. Okay, so if you go, Pulsatilla has this particular symptom, which has that nervousness felt about the ankles. Okay, capsicum also very definitely would come. Okay, but Pulsatilla has that about the ankles. Next, a weak organ sensation in the head, chest, stomach, and entire abdomen. Oh, the so many remedies are there for the organ sensation. Let's look at the options. We have tabacum, we have phosphorus, we have pulsatilla, we have staphy. So in this particular choices, there's no anacardium, there's no sepia, and uh, there's no asafoetida. So it could be either phosphorus or tobacco. Okay. So the answer here is phosphorus. The answer is phosphorus. Burning sore pains in the heels when sitting, standing, or walking in open air. Sitting, standing, or walking in open air. So what are the options we have? Veratrum, aconite, cyclamen, naxomica. So for me particularly to choose the answer in this, I would look at the last particular thing or walking in open air. So worse by walking in open air. So one remedy which has that, which is opposite of pulsatilla, it is cyclamen. Okay. So cyclamen is the correct answer. Next. I'll just discuss a few cases with you. Okay. A woman complains of swollen, painful breasts before the onset of menses. The pain gets better after the appearance of menstrual flow, but is worse by the least jar. She also dreams of snakes. So what are the options we have? Calcarea carb, black caninum, conium mac, and merxol. So what are the points you should take away here? First of all, action of the breasts, painful at the onset of menses, better by menses, okay? And dreams of snakes. So definitely I would think of lachesis, but it's not here. So what is the other remedy which is similar to lachesis? Lacaninum. So that is the answer. Okay. Lacaninum is the answer. Next. 36 year old man complains of cough, which is better by lying down and aggravated in the daytime. Which remedy would you think of? Iosiamus, Medorinum, Pulsatilla, and Euphrasia. So cough worse by lying down comes in hyacinthus. Very, very important. But worse in the daytime. All the complaints are worse in the daytime in this particular remedy. And that is euphrasia. So the answer is euphrasia. Okay. Next. So asthma, which comes on in foggy weather. So what could you think? And both Borik and Clark has mentioned this. It's given, I think, in Boric, I remember reading it. It's either Hypericum or Natrum Sulf or Dalcamara or Rustox. So the answer here, if you see in Boric, it is given Hypericum. So the answer is Hypericum. I think in the previous question, people thought it is, one minute, Hyosiamus, okay. Hyosiamus definitely comes, but that worse by lying down, Hyosiamus, Grandelia, Rosera, etc. Aggravated in the daytime is found in Euphrasia. Okay, so remember that. So the answer here is in this question it is hypericum. Okay, hypericum is the correct answer. Next. So mastitis after delivery, breasts are very hard, like a cake, swollen, hot, and painful with fever. Every time the child nurses, the pain spreads all over the body from the nipples. So mastitis, hard breasts, like a cake, hot and painful. Spreads from the nipples. Okay. We have belladonna, we have phytolaca, we have bryonia, and we have conium. Okay. So I think belladonna doesn't come here. Bryonia might not come here because bryonia is very sensitive. You have to hold the breasts. Okay. Phytolaca, on the other hand, has this particular thing. When the child nurses, it spreads everywhere. Conium also can come, but phytolaca has that particular symptom. Okay. So phytolaca is the correct answer. A 25 year old man comes with a complaint of dry cough for about two weeks. <clears throat> Sorry. Cough is much aggravated at night, but he feels better by lying on the stomach with face down and protruding his tongue. 
So this particular thing has that lying on the abdomen amelioration, cough, and knee chest position amelioration. Okay. So I think I've told the answer for you. The options are causticum, ammonium carb, phosphorus, and metodine. So if you go towards that knee chest lying on the abdomen amelioration, we find the answer is metodine. Okay, the answer is metodine. A patient is suffering with tonsillitis with very offensive smell from the mouth. He can swallow liquid food, but solid food causes choking with no pain in the throat. So here I think of two remedies. I'll, I'll just say the options first. First one is phytolaca, Merxol, Bactericia, and Barita. So according to where I took this from, it is given only one remedy. But according to me, there are two remedies which covers this particular symptomatology. And that is Merxol and Bactericia. Okay. The actual answer is Bactericia because of the offensiveness. But Merxol also covers Patient is suffering from high temperature with thirst being very prominent, especially before and during chills. There is bilious vomiting after drinking. Heat stage is characterized by severe bone pains, which is relieved by sweat. Okay. So what all do we have here? High temperature is there. Thirst is quite prominent before and during chills. Bilious vomiting after drinking, especially. Heat stage characterized by severe bone pains. So that is important. Bone pains relieved by sweat. If you add one more point, the remedy will be absolutely clear, which is bitter taste in the mouth. Okay. What are the options? China can come. Repertorium definitely can come. Epis may not be. Natrimio definitely cannot come. So it's either China or Repertorium. Okay. So the thirst before and during chills. I think there is a symptom given cannot drink enough water because he knows the chills are coming. Something like that is given, I remember. Then the heat stage, bony pains goes towards repertory. So the answer is repertory. Okay. Next. So consider the following symptoms. Okay. Tendency to small painful boils one after the other in succession. Retention of urine or incontinence after labor. Ribbon-like stools. Heat of upper part of the body and coldness of the lower part. So consider these four symptoms. Now answer the question, which all belong to Arnica? I think let's go with the easiest ribbon like stools. Everybody knows it belongs to Arnica. Upper body part, I mean upper part of the body, hot coldness of the lower part, again an Arnica symptom. Tendency to small point, painful boils one after the other, again an Arnica symptom. Retention of urine or incontinence after labor, again comes in Arnica. All the four cover Arnica. Okay, all the four symptoms come in Arnica. So the answer is D. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so you may get questions like this also. This is just for your knowledge. You may get questions like this. Okay. Next. A 45 year old patient has been diagnosed as a case of cystitis. He is passing very much offensive urine, which is brown in color, acidic in character. Excess of uric acid. So cystitis, offensive urine, brownish, acidic, with excess of uric acid. So these are the keynotes. Let's see what are the remedies which can come. Bactesia, maybe. Benzoic acid, yes, maybe. Again, nitric acid, again, highly likely. And pyrogen. So uric acid, offensive urine, cystitis goes towards, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, benzoic acid. Okay, benzoic acid is the correct answer. Extreme hunger, even when the stomach is full of food. Extreme hunger, even when the stomach is full of food. So, iodum, china, calcarea carb, staphysagria. So, here, iodum also can come, but staphy has this particular symptom. Extreme hunger, when in, even when the stomach is full of food. Okay, staphysacria has this particular symptom. Okay, so the answer is staphysacria. Next. Yeah, I believe this is the last question. Which of the following medicines is indicated for excoriated lips from acrid saliva? Excoriated lips from acrid saliva. So what are the options? 
creosote, petrol, nitric acid, and silesia. So excoriation comes in three of these particular MPs, or maybe not even three, two. That is creosote and nitric acid. So you have to choose between these two. Acridity in saliva goes towards nitric acid. Okay. So the answer here is nitric acid. Okay. So So that is about it. That is the MCQs. And uh, I hope I hope it has been a kind of a learning experience and a sharing experience. I might have made mistakes in one or two questions. I apologize for that. And I hope that it helps you when it comes to the exams. Okay. And uh, thank you everybody for your answers. Everybody has participated very actively. I thank everybody for that. And I wish you all the best in the future exams and endeavors. Thank you.